Hello, welcome back. This is lecture two of our lecture series on basics of computer networking. If you haven't watched lecture one, please check the link in the description box below. In this video, we will discuss about network representation and topologies. Just like architect design the blueprint of a building, network engineers and administrators need to show their network design. The network design can be called network diagram or network topology or topology diagram. It can be designed using end devices, intermediary devices, and media. It is used to describe how devices are connected to each other. Next, we will discuss how network components will be represented in network topology diagram and devices. Any device that is connected to a network is known as end device. We already discussed this one in lecture 1.2 intermediary devices. These are the most commonly used intermediary devices. The first one is a router. It can be wired or wireless. Like applications that provide you information about best route when you travel, router determines the best path or route from source to destination. That is why we have four directions on the icon of a router here. It also forwards traffic or data from source to destination network. A switch, LAN switch, multi-layer switch. Basically, a switch allows you to connect two devices on local area network. A switch icon has two directions, which shows that it supports two-way traffic. Multilayer switch performs the tasks of router and a switch, LAN and WAN. That's why it is also called layer three switch. Firewall, it is used to allow or deny the flow of data from or to the network based on the security configuration. Can be hardware or software. Access point. It provides internet connection to wireless devices or users. And it increases the communication range. Repeater. It is used to amplify or regenerate an incoming signal before retransmitting it. It is used to expand the coverage area of a network. The next one is network media. We also need to have representation for network media. Here, this is the representation of wireless media. This one is the representation of LAN media. This one is the representation for one media. Next, we will discuss about ports and interfaces from computer network perspective. Before we discuss about ports and interfaces, let me use a word, airport. What is the first thing that came to your mind? Maybe traveling? Yes, airport is a specific location where arrival and departure takes place. Same concept applies in networking. Port is a point where data arrives to and leaves from network devices. Now let us discuss in detail physical port. A physical port is a physical entity or connector or outlet on a network device where the media connects it to an end device or another network device. 
Some of the physical ports are serial ports, Ethernet ports, console ports, auxiliary ports. Let's discuss them. Serial ports are used to connect routers for long distance communication. This is a serial port that connects router 2 to router 1. To connect more than two routers, you need multiple serial ports. If needed, you can add one interface card to a router. For example, if we connect three routers to router 1, a single one interface card can connect one router to two routers. The next is Ethernet ports. Ethernet ports, also known as Fast Ethernet port or FA or Gigabit Ethernet port. It is used to connect an end or intermediary device to LAN. Example, here a switch to is connected to PC4 through FA04, which is Fast Ethernet port. Gigabit Ethernet is used to connect a switch to to router 4. Actually, the difference is the speed they handle. The next is console ports. It provides direct access to the iOS of the device when we are at the same physical location with the device. Example, PC3 provides a direct access to router R3 using console cable. The next is auxiliary port. It is used as a backup console port. Unlike a console port, it can also be used as a dial-up port for remote router management. The next is network interface card. This one. A network interface card physically connects the end device to the network. Example, here, all the pieces are connected to the switch through the network interface card. And you have network interface card almost on all network devices. Next, interface. An interface is a logical entity that has multiple parameters related to it, such as IP address, default gateway, and the physical ports. Example, the interface that connects a switch to PC4 is Fast Ethernet 04. We call it Fast Ethernet port or FA04. We can assign to it an IP address, default gateway, and apply other configurations related to security. Now we will discuss network topologies. As we mentioned, we create network topologies using network components. Here we use two routers, two multilayer switch, two LAN switch, and end devices. We connect the network components using media, and we call this topology. Let us discuss about physical topology. Physical topology illustrates the physical location of network devices such as the rooms in which these devices are located and cable installation. It shows which end devices are connected to which intermediary devices and what media is being used. Example, the server is located on the first floor, room 2, rack number 1, and shelf number three. So if you want to locate the server, you can clearly locate it. That is the role of physical topology. The next one is logical topology. Logical topology illustrates network devices, ports, and the addressing scheme of the network. Example, the laptop, PC1, and IP phone are part of this network, which is 192.168.10.0 slash 24. Actually, 
each need to have their own IP address. So this is the role of logical topology. If you have any question, please use the comments section below. In the next lecture, we will discuss about types of networks. Thank you and see you there.